I've always wanted to try to recreate this iconic hairstyle by Vidal Sassoon using head shape matter. So the first thing I'd look at is where does the top hair live and where does the bottom hair live? Once I know that I can go in and cut that design line to the length that I need. And I just knocked it off real quickly with some clippers. I can always go back in and define that line. I decided to start in that center back quadrant and I want my guide length to start right under the nose. So after establishing that length, I created a formula using Head Shape Matters based off of the length of hair at the top in the center back and then the length of the perimeter. And based off of that, I created a formula where my first level is cut at 90. My second level is going to be cut at 45 degrees from the head shape. I'm starting with a vertical section in the center of that level. And then I'm using that as my stationary guide and over directing the two sides to that center guide because I want my length to gradually get longer towards the front. Now I take the very bottom of level two as my guide for level three, isolate it. My formula tells me I need to cut this level at 45 degrees from head shape as well. Taking a center as my stationary guide and bringing the outside two pieces to that. All of the levels except my level one, I'm cutting at 45 degrees from the head shape. And that will get me down to that perimeter length that I had already established. So I drop down that center back and make sure that I'm at the shape that we want. And I'm there, so I'm going to move over to her left back side. Isolate that. And I'm taking a thin piece from the top and I'm going to continue that line. And then I'm going to drop down my perimeter density. How thick do I want it at the bottom? I measure that. And based on my measurements from that top piece to my bottom piece, I know again which cutting angles I can use. And in this case, it was exactly the same as the center back. So starting with 90 and then 45 the rest of the way down from the head shape. Now with each of these levels, my stationary guide is the one closest to the center back and I'm over directing everything to that point so I can continue to get longer towards the face. You'll see I start to run out of hair to cut. Now we're going to bring this guide length on around to the side. And I know from looking at this photo, you know, what shape I want that to be or what angle I want my guide to be. So using my inspiration photo, I go in, no tension, just over my hands and continue that line forward. I drop my perimeter density, how thick I need it to be on the side of her head. And based off of that length and the length of my guide, that will let me know which cutting angles I can use. So I have two levels to work with. I create my stationary guide at the back of that level or the one closest to the left back. And according to my formula, I can cut two 45 degree cutting angles from head shape to get from my top to my bottom length. So after checking that out to make sure we've got the shape in there, I drop that front, make sure we're okay there. And after styling this out, I was very pleased with the result. 
If you'd like to learn how to formulate haircuts, visit us at headshapematters.com.